Welcome to ADEXA's OP3D training video for acquiring optimum 2D panoramic images. This video will cover patient positioning, scan size selections, and acquiring an image. Start by opening your dental imaging software. Select the patient for examination and select the device to establish a connection. The device graphical user interface opens on the workstation when the connection to the device has been established. Select the Panoramic tab. With the Panoramic Imaging Program selected, you can select the imaging modality. Press the Imaging Program icons to change the Active Imaging Program. There are four imaging modalities that can be selected from the screen. Standard Panoramic, Pediatric Panoramic, Bitewing, TMJ. The Standard Panoramic Imaging Program provides a general view of dental and facial anatomy, typically seen for adolescents and adults. The Pediatric Panoramic Imaging Program is normally used for pediatric patients. It uses less radiation dose and a smaller imaging area than a standard panoramic image. Adult patients with an exceptionally narrow jaw can also be imaged with this program. In addition, the Bite Wing program provides a view of the patient's premolar molar dentition, and the TMJ lateral program provides a lateral view of the patient's left and right temporal mandibular joints. The dental chart displays the segments of the dentition to be acquired by the selected imaging program. You can also manually select which segments of the dentition are imaged. A sample image produced by the selected imaging program is displayed at the bottom of the window. The patient size indicates the currently selected patient size. Press the patient size selection icon to open a list of patient sizes, small, medium, and large. Select the patient size icon to activate it. Selecting a patient size per the patient adjusts the KV and MA to preset levels. Manually adjusting KV and MA according to the patient size and skull anatomy is also an option and can be accomplished by selecting the minus and plus icons. Now that the patient size and protocol have been selected, the device status indicator message bar displays the device status with a color-coded indicator. A gray indicator means that the device is not ready and will be accompanied by a prompt, indicating steps for resolution. A green indicator lets you know the device is ready for imaging. There are two chin rest configurations that can be used when acquiring a 2D panoramic image, standard panoramic and pediatric panoramic. Both require the bite block and chin rest, except for edentulous patients that require the use of the lip support and chin rest. Pre-configure the chin rest and place it into the system. Release the head support locking lever and move it towards the patient mirror. Pivot the back portion of the head support into its upright position. Place disposable covers on the bite support or lip support, patient chin rest, and head support. Prepare the patient for the procedure by asking the patient to remove all metal objects, including earrings, necklaces, glasses, hairpins, and all removable appliances from above their shoulders. Properly place the protective lead apron over the patient in accordance with local regulations. Have the patient stand in front of the unit. Instruct the patient to stand as straight and tall as possible. With the patient standing outside of the unit, raise or lower as needed so the patient's chin is level with the chin rest. Have the patient step forward, asking them to grasp the patient handles and place their chin onto the chin rest and bite on the bite block so that both the upper and lower anterior teeth are in the bite block's grooves. Tell the patient to close their eyes so you can use the alignment lights to properly position them. Turn on the patient positioning lights by pressing the positioning light button on the control panel. Adjust the device's height and adjust the patient's head position using the patient positioning lights as guides. The patient's Frankfurt plane should be close to parallel with the Frankfurt horizontal light. For standard panoramic and pediatric panoramic alignment, the tilt light is approximately on the canine and the root tips of the lower and upper incisors. Compensate for mid-sagittal misalignments by manually moving the patient's head into the proper position. You can open the mirror and use it to assist in positioning the patient. Close the mirror before you start acquiring an image. Move the head support against the patient's forehead. Adjust the height of the head support if needed. When complete, lock the head support using the locking lever. Adjust the temple supports using the adjustment knob. Reconfirm proper patient alignment using the positioning lights. 
ask the patient to take one step forward to straighten the spinal column. The patient is now slightly leaning backwards and should remain this way during image acquisition. Ask the patient to swallow, hold their tongue position, breathe through their nose, but remain still for the duration of the exposure. Inform the patient that the machine will rotate around their head and an audible sound will occur. Protect yourself from radiation in accordance with local safety guidelines and regulations while maintaining visual contact with the patient during exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button until the process completes. The panoramic image will appear on the acquisition workstation. Press the OK button to confirm image acquisition. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit dexas.com.